Hey Niagara, how you doing? Sean Delot here with the Davidson Delot Real Estate Team, and this is your July 2023 market update. What I'd like to start off with is a little bit of a synopsis of what's transpired this year. So we started the year off with a slower January and February, and then the government uh, kind of put out a little memo that maybe they weren't going to do anything with rates till September, October. Well, what that started to do was give a little bit of confidence in the real estate market. And our spring market turned out to get a little bit of fire. Starting in March, average sale price was $630,000 and then jumped up into April and into May and then even higher in June. So what that kind of did was created confidence in the market again. Well, that confidence in the market also then therefore created some hesitancy by the government and felt they needed to raise the rates again for inflation. But not only that, I also feel the kind of curb the real estate market. So now what's that done has kind of caused prices to settle. Um, and we're seeing now already in June and July that prices are settling from where they were. So for sellers, what you need to know is that don't price your house off the MLS. Huge mistake. Looking at listings that have been listed for 30, 60, some 90 days. Houses that aren't selling. And a lot of those sellers listed just at the beginning of June or maybe the tail end of May, feeling that fire in the market and wanted to catch that. Well, unfortunately with the rate hikes, they didn't catch it and what they caught was a little bit of a drop. Because remember, when rates go up, it affects buyers' borrowing power therefore allowing them to afford less, therefore not being able to pay as much for some of the houses that are listed. Also, what it does is creates a little less confidence in the market, therefore creating buyers to be a little more patient. So buyers are patient to wait for the houses that are priced right. I hate to say, tell you, a lot of the houses out there on the market right now are not a priced appropriate for the current market. So. If you are thinking about listing your home, there is a strong market, but it's got to be price correct. Now, I also understand there's challenges, financial struggles. And you know what? David Zadal is always happy to help. And I understand people need so much to sell their house to help them out of certain situations. I also understand they need so much maybe to buy their next home. Well, what you really need to do is sit down and evaluate everything thoroughly because now may not be the time. And for buyers, buyers, just be patient. Wait for the good buys to come out. There's some really great pricing going on. There is sellers who know what they got to do to make a move happen. So pricing is coming around. And a lot of the sellers that are currently out there now with it being a couple months are starting to reduce their prices. So things will kind of balance. But what I'm anticipating again too is maybe another hike in September, which again is causing them some hesitancy. But if you're a seller looking to make the big bucks, the reason I brought up my little preview of the year is because when the government says, hey, nothing's gonna happen with the rates, things start to catch fire. I kind of feel confident moving forward for next year that we're not gonna see many rate hikes, if any. There has been talk of the rates going down. I'm not putting my money on that. I think everything will just be even Steven for the year. So what will end up happening is everyone will acclimatize to the new rates. And if you look at what happened in spring of this year, the market caught a little fire. Well, if everything means even keel, pretty confident the market will start to catch a little fire again next year. And for some of those who are looking for the extra dollars, maybe next spring might be the time for you. And of course, these are my opinions. I don't have a crystal ball, but just wanted to share some insight on kind of what's going on. But right now, again, I have to remind sellers, please don't go to the MLS to price your house. Buyers have more information at their fingertips through the MLS, through the photos, the videos, let alone apps that let them know what house is sold for. So if you're trying to stretch the market, you're not pulling the wool over the buyer's eyes. They're educated and they know what's going on and they'll give you a good offer if they feel your house is priced right. So price your house right, get a sale, and buyers get out there to buy.